Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, and I am currently in the tub with the Eternal Castle Remastered. Now, I suggest you strap in because this is going to be a fairly weird one because this intriguing title popped out on the Steam store very recently and it's got a strange backstory to it. Now, the Eternal Castle Remastered was released onto Steam on the 5th of January 2019 and it's currently priced at £5.99. It's developed by, as far as I can see it, three people, and I'm very sorry, because I'm definitely about to pronounce all of their names wrong. It is nothing personal, it's not a slight, I just really suck at pronouncing words I'm not familiar with. And they are Leonard Menciari, Daniela Vicinanzo, and Giulio Peroni. I'm very sorry, I know they must be wrong, but they are the three people who helped create this game. Now, the reason why this game is so strange is because... You may have noticed the remastered in the title. Apparently, The Eternal Castle was an old DOS game from 1987. Four years before I was even born. So it's super, super old. And even more apparently, is that one of the devs just has brief recollections of playing this at his dad's office when he was younger. It was like un He didn't know what the game was called or he had no way to identify it. He just remembers playing it a bit when he was younger. And so from memory, he's tried to recreate it. I found, find that so interesting and I'm very aware that this menu is completely silent and my voice may be grating so let's get into the game and we can talk about it more. But what the hell, year, whatever that is, 2000 I think? I can't read any of this. The fall of the something. <laughs> I really can't read it. I don't know whether it's because my eyes are, are really bad or that text is just so tough. Look, I've tried a few times to read this out loud. I can't. I can barely get through it in my head. What I suggest you do if you want to read it is maybe pause the video for a sec and get through it. But basically, there's someone who needs saving. It's a suicide mission. So that sounds fine to me. Let's jump in and we can talk more about this weird game. No matter what, I'm going to save her. What are they? Are they eyes? Or is that a man with his hands on his hips? Oh, it's me. I can choose to be either Adam or Eve. I've always fancied myself as a bit of an Adam. Wow. So you can see the game has a very retro style to it, but it's also really pleasing to look at as well. That is cool as hell. Punch it, Adam. So, what was I saying about this game? This guy has tried to make it from the best of his memory. Um, so, whether it's a remaster at all is, is up for debate, I think. I mean, with the resources we have on the internet these days, surely someone would be able to find out if there was an Eternal Castle game back in 1987, I think. I don't know. That, the whole story is quite intriguing. But look at us hanging on the tree here. I guess our parachute got caught up. But I'm really digging how it looks. Regardless of the lore behind this game, as long as it plays well, I guess that's all that matters. If it's worth your money. Okay, we're out of the parachute. Look at that little blocky Adam. <laughs> Man, he slouches. Look how far his neck is in front of his spine. They're going to cause you terrible problems, Adam. Oh, we can go this way. Did we just find a secret? I think I did. I think I found a secret. Okay. So, what can we do? We can jump. Oh, we can barely jump. We can crouch. We can get ready for a fight here, see? You wanna go against me? Oh, oh, we can actually punch, okay. Okay, well let's go and punch some fools. Oh, here we go, the game's gonna tell me anyway. Sorry to uh, try and get ahead of you. Run and A is a long jump. Okay, uh, how long? Hmm. <laughs> that didn't work. Hmm, I mean, I do hate to lie to you, and there's no point in keeping secrets. I've been trying to do this long jump for a long time now. Uh, so much so that I've had to cut out all my failed attempts. But look, we're going to get it this time. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my bones. Or is it toes? I don't know how the song goes. But we're going to make this jump. Because I believe. Oh, what, you, what the fuck are you sitting down for, Adam? Okay, go. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God, we did it. Beautiful. Press X or RT to action. Nice. I think we'll stick to X. I feel more comfortable with that. Where the, oh, my God. He moves so weird. This is crazy. It's a very, very strange game. Are they dead bodies there? I guess. I don't think they got ahead. I hope this isn't an eyesore for many of you, but 
I mean, I really, really would like the style of this. I haven't seen anything like it. Ah, looks like I never used to play old DOS games. I mean, it looks like there's a key on there. Hmm, the door is shut, okay. What is that over there? Can I get it? Left trigger. Okay, you can shoot. Oh, sweet. How do I shoot? Oh, aim. Nice. Oh, beautiful looking. Okay, so now let's shoot some balls. Is there something on there we can pick up? I don't know what that is, but I'm on it. No, I'm going to take the gun back. Thank you. Okay, let's get in here. Shoot the head off some sacks. Oh, God, it's, it's a massacre, I think. I can tell by the, by the pink. Wow, this is so weird to play. We'll keep on moving. We need to save her. What have we got there? Something I can interact with? Feels like a dream. Or more like a nightmare. There is a very long message written on the screen. Shall I try and read it? Please don't be in that awful text. Okay, I can't read it. We'll keep on moving. Oh my god, what's killed all these things? I think there's people here that have been killed. The only thing I can make out is dear Adam Boy himself. I'll keep on moving. Ah, back outside. That, That's easy on the eyes. Sit next to symbol to meditate. You mean save, right? Did we do it? Did, did I save? I need some more feedback than that. We're going to assume I saved. When do I get to shoot something? I've just gone for ages. Oh, yes, a dog. Wait, I don't want to shoot the dog though, do I? Hmm. Can you crouch and shoot? No, you can't. Yeah, scare him away. What the hell? You said it. Oh my god, that wasn't water. That was uh, that was acid. God damn it. Okay, please tell me. Yes, that's a checkpoint. Beautiful. We have our gun still. Yeah. Okay. So I must have to shoot down that tree or punch it. <laughs> it splashed on the dog. And it burnt the dog. The dog didn't even do anything to us, Adam. Long jump. Yes, okay. Mind that. What the hell? This feels like the the trope of a piano hanging in the air. How is there a Humvee hanging up there? Okay, we're, um, we've got under it just fine. Can I climb on you? I can. Okay, what's that down there? Is that another checkpoint? Oh, it is sweet. Okay, cool. Okay, keep on moving, Adam. You got this. I mean, it's a very, very, very unique game. I'm kind of digging it. I'm not. I mean, I think the the um, the graphic style could be a huge turnoff for some people, but I think this is definitely worth worth a look so far. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I guess the uh, the previous hanging car was a bit of foreboding for the hanging truck. But yeah, as I was saying, the story behind this game is what first got me interested. But the more I've read about it, and the more i thought about it, um, I'm not trying to call anyone a lie here, but you need to wonder how much of it is true, whether a game like this actually existed before. Because, like I said, I mean, you give Reddit one hour, they'll be able to find that game. Even less, maybe. I mean, how do I get under here? Do I have to jump over that? Is that like a switch? Yeah, okay, cool. I don't think I have my gun. There we go. Jump over that. What, is that a boat? Where are we? Why is everything hanging? Why is it all suspended so high? Oh! Doggy! Doggy! No! Fuck off! Fuck off! Go! 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 Adam! We made it through. I don't think we have any bullets left for our gun. Oh! They're following me here! What the fuck are you? Put the gun down. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> oh! Okay, good. <laughs> right, that serves you, New Yorker. Trying to tell us to get out of here. Can I take what you had? Yes, he has bullets. Here we go. Almost got like a Mad Max vibe as well. Like a cyber re Mad Max. I mean, that is beautiful. Look at the, the lighting on Adam there. It looks very pretty in pink. We've turned the lights on. Okay, so something back here that I can pick up. No. Keep on going. Where, where is this lady that I need to find? Oh, 
Oh man, long hallways. Always give me the creeps. <laughs> Not today, turret. You need to work on your aim, you sucker. Okay, I will. Oh, I think we've got a bullet. Represented by the plus one. Okay, don't punch the screen, Adam. It's beneath you. No, nope, we're in. Are we in? Oh, okay, I think that door's like jamming slightly. Still don't fully understand all the controls. I'll be 100% honest with you. Good, we did it. <laughs> Those need to be facing it. Oh, what the hell have we got here? Looks like the trash compactor on Star Wars. Oh no, we've constructed something. What is that? Adam, shoot it! Adam! Get your gun out, Adam! Okay, he's got like a bulbous purple thing on his back. Yeah, did we hit it? I think we hit it. Keep going. This is good. It's like an ogre. Oh, we've got no more bullets left. Punch it. Did we do it? Holy crap. That was so fun. The panic was what made it fun. But getting through it first time was also really satisfying. Oh god, it's twitching. Glider, I've just got an achievement for Baby Glider. I don't know what that means, but that was so cool. Sure, it only lasted 10 seconds, but sometimes the best things do. Oh my god, that was incredibly exhilarating. We killed that thing. What a cool design. Oh, hello. What are you doing? It's not a time for, like, artistic dances. We need to know where to go. Are you trying to tell us through the medium of dance? Okay, let's go to the, the temple in the desert. What does that say? Sure, we'll go through. Onwards. Oh yeah, we crash landed, of course. Is that us again? The Eternal Castle, baby! Press any key to begin! No! You're gonna play me like that game? <laughs> this is the start? We haven't even started yet? Oh yeah. Okay, this game's won me over. Teleport enabled. Okay. What we, what's going on here? Glider system check, energy levels. Where are we? Okay, so we must be down in the middle, in the center. I see the little plane icon. Um, and what, we get to choose where we go, maybe? Should we go here? It's uh, from the top right. I can make out the the uh, the word ruins, I think. Low, a uh, low ammo, it's humid. Okay, low visibility in our holy church. In the city, there is a threat of, I don't know. Let's go to the, the ruins. Wow, what an intro. Okay, we've got to climb up that thing. Who's up there? I see eyes. Oh, it's where we get a checkpoint, okay. I've got to admit, this game is far better than I was expecting. Um, I don't want to sort of sound arrogant or ignorant of the past here, but I'm not a retro gamer at all. Um, I don't know any of the classics. Oh, get away from me. We got him? Yeah, okay, we got him. Yeah, I don't know any of the classics. I don't know how things used to work back in the day. My first experience with gaming was uh, Super Mario World on the on the Game Boy. So that's about as retro as I go. So this stuff is all incredibly new to me. The mechanics, the art styles, all that sort of stuff. Um, so how true this is to retro, I don't wholly know. But, I'm really enjoying it. Okay. Two lads, can we do them? Yeah, look at this. It seems Adam used to be a bit of a bare knuckle cage fighter back in the day. Is this a punching bag? Oh crap. I think it's a body. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, punching bags don't have legs, do they? Is there... Yeah, we can crack these open. Now it said, I think we're going to be doing a lot of hand to hand here, because it said the threat was low ammo. But we're in like some sort of uh, 
village, maybe? Inhabited by pretty angry people. And now we're in a cage fighting tournament. Take that, you sucker. Run away, run away. Get ready for the haymaker. Boom! Oh, okay. Boom! Shit. We did it. That shut you up, didn't it, crowd? Come on, where's my adulation? Throw me roses. Throw me copper. Um, okay, left or right? Let's go left. It's back the way we came. Is that a hole? Are we going to fall down a hole there? Adam, are you okay? Oh, we punched a rock, I think. Oh, now I'm stuck. Oh, I'm so stuck. No, we're just on a ladder. Okay, where am I? How do I move down, Adam? There we go. Jesus Christ, that was hard work. Fuck! Adam, no! They blew his damn head off the monsters. Wake up. Teleport to the ship. No, we had a, a rock here, didn't we? Oh, crap. I've got to go through all that again. <laughs> we beat his ass again. He didn't stand a chance. So I guess we'll go right this time, because left didn't work out too well for me. Can I climb up there? Easy now, Adam. Try climbing there. No, okay, we'll keep moving forward. But I can see something glinting in the top left, and I'm on it. I may have to leave it. Oh, what is this place? Oh, God, what is going on? I've gone up the stairs, okay. What the hell? I've got a feeling I'm going to get very lost in here. Right, maybe we can kill this dude? Crap. Oh, he's run away! Damn, I wanted him to stay and fight. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, let me just try and kick this guy's ass first, and then we can um, focus on the real scene stealer here. Oh man, we made that guy leave his lover mid coitus. I'm so sorry to her, really. I hope he's gonna doing a good job. Wait, what's this? Oh, we found one. Okay, now do we go and beat that guy for, for, for no reason? Do you want to get back to your lovemaking? I'm sure you do. Man, thank, hopefully YouTube can't pick up the thrusting of doggy style in this uh, retro art style. Okay, where are we? Are we back here? What's that? We open that door. Okay, that's good. We'll go over here. Do you really, do you really reckon the developer remembered that from 1987? <laughs> Was that his sexual awakening? <laughs> Seeing some blocks thrust. Okay, that's another checkpoint. That's good then. But I don't think it's really where we need to go. I didn't go through this door before though, did I? Aha, that takes us... Oh, fuck me! Okay, come here, dude. Is he down? He's down. I'm so sorry, love. You must be terrified. A strange man bursting into your room and beating up your, I imagine, husband? Have you got anything for us? I think we're looking for glider fragments. Oh, shit. I just knocked her out. Okay, that was a pure accident. What's that person doing in the bottom left? Are they scrubbing the floor? I can't work it out. Um, can I open this door? I don't know. Looks like there's a panel there I could use. I just don't know. And there's pink underneath it. Oh, we had a gun? Did we? I've just thrown a rock. I've got no bullets for this. Okay. Well, I guess we'll, we'll go back. I mean, there is the way where I got killed the last time. And then people shot my head off. I suppose that's the only thing I can try. Ah, oh, wrong door. Yeah, there's nothing for us here, I don't think. Let's go back the way then. Is there anything in here? I just don't know. Sometimes it is really hard to make out what the hell I'm looking at. Like, I feel like I can climb up there somehow. Or maybe that's just, um, you know when the floor drops and we fell down here? Maybe you can sprint across it quick enough and you'll be rewarded with whatever that item is. That makes more sense. Okay. So we break that. This is going to be a hard one. 
Okay, I've um, swapped to rocks. There we go. Take that. Take. Okay, well, I reckon we could do that, you know. If we had full health and we just threw rocks at them, maybe we could beat them up. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we respawned here. So, oh, sod it. We're gated in. What the hell? Am I stuck? You could have just gone this way. This must be the way we have to go. So let's try this door now. We won't go back to the man with the shotgun. The castle was on the other side of that river. Okay. Can I go down these stairs? No. I think it's just a, a nice view. Um, we'll climb up here. Can we get up that bit as well? We can. Good. There's a door to open. Oh, look at that. Good thing we took this route. The high road. Bunch of lads down there. Probably up to no good. Now this door. Is this door good for us? Shit. I want to get a gun. No. Come on. Come on. Where am I? Oh. We've got an axe. I didn't even realise we had an axe. Adam, that was some mean-spirited killing. I loved every second of it. It's so good it made me hiccup. Okay, it's really hard to hold a hiccup in. Right. How do I pick up these guns? Okay, I have a gun now. I hope you're... Uh, oh, the white squares, my bullets underneath? I think they could be. Okay, and we've got a plus one. Whatever that is. So let's go back through the door. And now I'm happy to uh, take on anyone. I feel confident with my gun. God, it's actually quite a maze. I don't know where I am now. Ah! Did I die? I think I died. I fell into a horrible pit. Let's try this a different way. I've got my gun back, got me ammo. I'll drop down this way and go through that door now. I've got to say, the combat is surprisingly weighty. The whole movement is quite weighted. Like, if you move along, it takes a while for him to come to a stop and stuff like that. There's a heaviness to uh, Adam here. It makes it feel quite real. So if we get our gun out like that, we're going to have to shoot all these dudes. Yes, okay, good. Okay, we'll have to punch him. Come on, keep it up. Yes. Okay, sweet. That worked out for us somehow. So these guys didn't have guns. But yeah, the combat is really quite fun. For me, anyway, I like it. Let's move along here. I mean, it's incredibly basic. It's all 2D and stuff. But, it, like I said, it just feels so weighted in a good way. Okay, this is a bad thing. When we've fallen in here before, we've died. Fuck you. Oh, he's still alive. Get up. Get him, man. In. Get, get, get. There we go. Whew. Now where do I go? Back this way? Underneath the whole thing? Sure. What do we have here? Someone we can climb up. Oh, you're telling me there's a secret? Huh, there's a secret the whole time. Okay. We weren't to know. So we've got to bypass all of that. Interesting. So maybe be on the lookout for hidden routes. Um, go up here, I think. And move along. What is that? A dragon? On the right hand side, and is that some pursed lips trying to kiss us? We'll keep on moving this way. Whoa, careful. Can I make that jump? I'm okay, I'm alright. Shake it off, Adam. Oh, that was an arcade. Oh! No, they're gonna beat my ass. We're so dead. We're so dead. I've got my bullets left. I had no idea. Take that. There's two of them down. <laughs> that guy was too focused on his game to fight me. There we go. Now will you fight me? Oh, you're a big dude. Come on, come on. Oh, he was massive. He wouldn't let up. He pulled my face into a pulp. Oh, we'll wake up again. But i got to say, I think that might be it for the Eternal Castle. What a very interesting game. I can only recommend it if you want to try a gaming experience that may be one that you're not quite used to. Because that is exactly how I can sum this up. This is a game that I am not used to playing at all. Genre, style, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, 
It's not my usual sort of um, takings when I sit down and game. This has been so fun. It's so interesting. It's one of the moments, again, where I get really passionate of the crazy things people who are much cleverer than me can create. Um, again, the whole uh, law behind it of whether this was an actual title in 1987 that the dev remembers playing briefly, that's all up for uh, debate, I guess. But I think, regardless, the product that has come out of it is worth your time and your money. So if you enjoyed this episode of In The Tub With, please go ahead and leave a like. It does help me out a great deal, and I appreciate it so much, so thank you for that. If you want to see more, we do In The Tub With every Monday, as well as Let's Plays on the channel, and we live stream three times a week. So there is plenty of content here for you. I'd be honoured if you could go ahead and subscribe, and I can bring it all to you. Got any questions you want to raise? Maybe you could do some digging of your own and tell me what you find about this game, the story behind it. Or let me know if you play it yourself. And let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I get back to you. Alright? See you!